All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And finally, the day has come where I am going to beat Outlast on the PlayStation 5. We are right near the end. I did look to see how much time was left to see if I could fit it in before I go to work today. And I, <laughs> I'm almost at the end, honestly. Uh, so today is the day, and I'm excited. We're going to get right into this. This is, this is the scariest game I have ever played. But I guess that's not saying much because I haven't played a lot of scary games. So... Let's go ahead and take a look around real quick. Keep the camera up because what is that? What is that? Uh, I thought maybe he would write and whoa. Okay, there's a lot of what's happening. What is that noise? Okay. Uh, I thought there might be some information here that I could read on like what this is. Um, everything appears to be stable, which we don't like. I don't think we want things to be stable. I think we want to fuck shit up here, so that's what we're going to do. New objective, turn off the valve for the life support. Okay, so there's a person right here. Is this Billy? All right, we got a, we got a note here. From Billy's patient reports, he ought to be 23 years old. He looks like he's at least 50 years of rough road, pain scratched deep into... Uh, what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. Interesting. So, Billy... So... Oh, here we go. We got some documents. Oh, man. Uh, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. Morphogenic Engine Chamber Maintenance Schedule. To avoid patient injury, the Morphogenic Engine Life Pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. Vital System 1, the enrich, en, enriched oxygenated... Uh, <laughs> Uh, from the life support fluid reservoir must be continually flushed and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Note that OP also supplies anesthetics. Any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient uh, to potentially disrupt the experiment. Vital system two, electric supply is supplemented. Uh, sorry, I had to make sure I wasn't on mute this whole time. Uh, electric supply is supplemented and insured by the sublab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of uh, the, the sublab generator should be confirmed hourly. Vital system three. In the case of catastrophic loss of vital system one and two, the life pod failsafe will engage, maintaining localized minimum life support functions until technicians can arrive. Disabling and false safe will result in immediate patient termination. Okay, so we're. This is basically telling us what we have to do. What is this? Can I do something with this? Oh! oh. Alright, nothing happened. Alright, so. Turn off the valve for the life support fluid reservoir. Okay. So where is that? That's the generator. What is that noise? The music is picking up. I don't like this. Stop. Whoa! What is that? Hey, dude. Are you alive? Okay, let's just keep going. <clears throat> Life support fluid reservoir. Alright. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Okay. Ho, oh, oh. Whoa. Okay. All the noises are very loud. If you, this is your first time joining me, I play on full blast. Was that a note? We have a lot of notes. Life support. This is Billy's Billy Hope's lungs, his liver, his life support. A machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. Fuck it all. Break it all. He has to die. I, I'm in agreement with that. Let's go ahead and just... What? What was that noise? All right. We're just going to try to act normal and stay brave and, you know, not get scared. Pretty easy. Do I have to go over there? I wonder if I just go in here. Oh, okay. All right. Here we go. We got some documents here. Uh, from the personal records of Dr. Wernicke, Frankenstein, or the Modern Prometheus, by Mary Shelley, published anonymously, 1818, Chapter 4, excerpt. Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least by my example, how dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge, and how much happier that modest man than 
how much happier that modest man than he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. That was just weird to read. Okay, so what do I do? What do I do here? Am I supposed to do anything? I don't think so. I think I probably go over here. There is a valve. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> All right. Oh, shit. Run, 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 run. I hear him. I hear him. Oh, fuck. Run. Oh, shit. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, we are being chased by the wall rider. I think. Okay, so now we can go up there, I think. Run. Just, just, I'm just gonna sprint. Just keep going. Oh, 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 oh shit. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Just go. I'm not even. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Okay, we have a big room here. I think we're gonna go upstairs. Okay. Go, 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 go. Dude, this is a lot of stairs. Holy hell. Oh my God, thank God this guy's in pure physical athletic shape. This is just doing... Oh, oh, oh! Okay. <gasps> Which way? Which way? Which way? This way? I don't know. Oh! Oh my god, more stairs. I hope I'm going the right way. Oh! He's right behind me! Oh! 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 oh, oh. What do I do? Is he right behind me? Maybe. Oh. oh, that was a weird... I did not like that sound. Okay. Please find attached the permission to proceed form for patient William Pope of the Murkoff Charitable Psychiatric Program... Psychiatry Program at Mount Massive Ho Hospital in Colorado. I can't read today. Uh, the form is standard and all relevant lines have been signed. It appears Billy is unaware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding unfounded of financial uh, remuneration. Oh, so he's not getting financial. To his mother and charitable con contribution to her church. Werner Geek, having read the boy's dream reports, believes that he has enormous therapeutic potential so do I go down here yes <clears throat> I don't know what am I supposed to do now disable Billy's life pod failsafe so the thing that he's in I think let's just go let's just fucking go let's just go come on wall rider it's just... What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh! Fuck! Oh, no! Oh! Oh, he caught us? Oh, God! Oh! Okay, run! Keep the camera out just so we can get the notes. Just run, just run, just run, dude. Oh! Run! Okay, what do I do? What do I do? Do I do this? Yes! Oh no. He's coming. Oh! Oh! He's gonna kill us. Miles isn't gonna live. Oh, he's going inside us. 
Get out, okay? Which way? Up here? Oh, we are hurt bad, man. We can barely move. Come on, buddy. He has gone through hell. And he might not make it. What was that noise? Oh, oh shit. Okay, hey, 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 hey. It's all right. Oh! Oh no. Miles is not gonna make it. God him. You have become the host. Jesus, God, what is that thing? Okay, that was really fast. We finally beat it. Okay. Oh, man. I, I'm kind of upset that he didn't survive because I know there's an Outlast 2. So we obviously play as somebody else in Outlast 2. I don't I don't know anything about these games. When I boot them up, I kind of maybe read the description. And that's beyond that, no idea. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. Very scary. Scariest game I've ever played. Um, let me know what you guys think about this whole face cam scary game thing. If you want to see the face cam in other games, if you want to see any other games, it doesn't have to be scary. Uh, it just has to be on the PlayStation 5. I do play a lot of PC games, but I don't do any recording. I just play for fun. Um, but thank you all for watching. If you watched this whole series, I really appreciate that. If you didn't and you only watched this one, no problem. I really appreciate that as well. Uh, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.